आवर डन रिवीजन फॉर यू आर आई पी टू टेस्ट एंड आई गो फॉर नेक्स्ट बिट चिल्ड्रन आई गो फॉर ग्रामर पार्ट grammar part in if for poem two glossary are there i'll complete first all the uh, all these two glossaries bestow on someone and pain you can ease bestow on someone it means give someone Someone. So next closer is pay in their ease. Pay in their ease. Free someone from pain or worry. Free someone from pain. Word formation. Make compound nouns using the words given. This is from Soldier's Son lesson. Page number is twenty-three. Children. So, if you have textbook, open and keep. Word uh, formation may compound nouns using the words given. Here one example is given: post, dash, postman, postmaster, postcard, post office, postmark, post paid. So these are all compound words. So before going to exercise, we have to understand what is meant by compound noun. is meant by compound noun already you know children what is meant by noun noun means a name of a person place thing or quality so compound noun means what Stand on their own. Stand on their own. Okay. 
I do is think towards I do is think towards I am going to farm up now Combine to farmer. Now, they take on a new. They take on a new. Meaning, that may or may not be related. They are may not be related. So, if you don't know the meaning of uh, compound word, copy down children. First, you have to understand the compound now, then only you can make the exercise. Once again, I revise. A compound noun is a noun which is made up of two words that, if separated, could stand on their own. When two distinct words are combined to form a noun, so they take on a new meaning that may or may not be. Related to either of the original words. For example, for example, we can take the word ice cream. In this word, we can find out the two words children, ice cream. So two words are there. This is called compound word. So ice means frozen water. Cream means it's a dairy product. So these two combine together, we can make the compound word. So these two have their distinct definitions to the game. So but when combined they turn into a delicious. So combining these two, we can make it delicious because ice cream is covered for other children. So compound nouns are essential part of the English language. For English language, we need compound words. Compound nouns communicate a specific person, place, idea, or thing. Compound nouns communicate a specific person, place, idea, or thing. We can see that some more examples for person, for place. For thing, everything. See, I'll give you some more examples. Firefighter, flight 
okay right attended everyone or huh? everybody in this course we can see two words to learn in business person fire fighter flight attendant every one every body so these are two words combining together we can make the compound word example for place for place we can give the examples of every day every day no way anyway the stop Complete. So these are our example for place. Every way we can find out two words here. No way, any way, bus stop. So for field. So these two combining together we can make it compound nouns. children next i will uh, go for exercise page number 23 so example is uh, given here postman postmaster postcard post office post mark and post paid so next one is Right. 
Whether they are subjects, whether they are subjects, objects are subject complements. Subject complements. She was silent. She was silent. By what she had? By what she had? Right. So what is now clause? Clause is a dependent clause that takes the place of any noun in the sentence, whether they are subjects, objects, or subject complements. So, this is called noun clause. For example, she was saddened by what she had read. So, here written is noun clause, what she had read. So, how do you identify a noun clause? So how we have to find out the noun clause means look for a question word to link the clause. Look for a question word to link the clauses. A list of pronouns that could indicate a noun clause are who, whom, whomever, or whose. Subordinate conjunctions include which, what, where, when, why, whether, that, or how. These words usually introduce a noun clause. See how to identify the noun clause, children. First, we have to look for. A question. Look for a question word. Get link clauses. First, we have to find out the question word. Then, then uh, link the clauses. How it looks and uh, links to the clauses. Subordinating conventions are 
which one where and which one where and why whether why whether get or how So these parts we will introduce a noun clause. These are all words. Introduce the noun clause.
where so we have added where we lost our fields this is the place where we used it to grow ragi next krishnappa so some characters are there here first one is devaya second one is krishnappa what he tells see they said that we should sell our fields and we had to sell them so what we are, have added here that so we have filled the word that they said that we should sell our fields and we had to sell them so next uh, character is rajanna what he tells that is how we lost our fields that is how we lost our fields so we have added here how next one krishnappa that is why this factory came up here so what he tells that is why this factory came up here so we have filled the word why next one is devaya that is why we have become factory workers so what he tells that is why we have become factory workers we have filled the word why next rajanna we don't know whether our children will ever become farmers again so what he tells rajanna we don't know whether our children will be uh, will ever become farmers again so we have filled the word with the weather so this is all about noun clause children next we will go for prefixes and suffixes that is in the page number 26 only prefixes and suffixes so before going to uh, the words of prefixes and suffixes we have to understand the word prefix what is meant by prefix and what is meant by suffix if you know the definition of prefix and suffix then you can make it prefix and suffix part added to the beginning of a word so whatever word is there so before that we have to add some word so that is called uh, prefix that changes the words meaning so prefix is a word part added to the beginning of a word so already there is uh, one word so we have to add for that word before only we have to add so that is called prefix if we are adding after the word means it will become the suffix a prefix is a word part added to the beginning of a word that changes the words meaning so for example happy we can add it un un so it will become unhappy so that is called prefix happy unhappy sense nonsense so we can add the word non means it will become the prefix nonsense listen revisit so we have added here re means uh, visit so after that before uh, before adding the word it means prefix visit revisit understand misunderstand do redo pay repay active inactive so before adding words is called prefix that will change the meaning of the word children so some more words are there fortune unfortunate regular irregular appear disappear lucky unlucky so these are all prefixes if we add after the word it will become the suffix so today time of children i continue tomorrow thank you